Many different species live in the forest, some closer than others. Fungi usually grow close to certain plants. This can only be explained by taking a look under the earth. This is where the fungus, in the form of a huge network of threads called the mycelia, runs through the earth and connects with a root system of neighboring plants, in this case, a beech tree. Innumerable threads create a dense network around the tree's outermost fine roots. Through the widely branched mycelium, the fungi can very efficiently absorb water and minerals, including phosphorus and nitrogen, and through the individual threads, transport them straight into the tree roots. From there, the water and minerals are transported into the leaves. In the cells of the leaves, photosynthesis takes place, creating dextrose from water, carbon dioxide, and the sun's energy. So much dextrose is produced that it's more than enough for the whole beech tree. What is left over, which can be up to a third, is transported underground. For fungi, this process is essential for survival, as they themselves cannot produce any dextrose. This form of symbiosis is called mycorrhiza, and there are advantages for both partners. The fungi helps the tree to absorb water, and in return, it gets dextrose to survive and grow. In the root system of a tree, there can be more than 30 types of mycorrhiza fungi. They create a network between the trees. Via this fungal connection, a strong tree can supply its weaker neighbors with nutrients. Some mycorrhiza fungi can even coexist with many different plants, an ingeniously designed underground network.